They feel that older people are an inconvenience. Exactly. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to Vanessa Review. I haven't been on for a while, but I'm so happy to be here. And we have a, a great presenter today. You're going to love my guest. And you're free to write in to make comments anytime you want. But my guest, my guest is the famous, I know you probably haven't heard of him, but most of you have. A lot of the people from my group have, have heard of him. He's very famous. Uh, his name is Robert Ponte. He's been on the Oprah Winfrey Show. That's where I first saw him. And so what I want to talk about today and with Robert is that we want to influence the way in people look at seniors and their value and what they bring to the party, the experience. And also not just that, but now that they're the age they are with the experience and the wisdom that they have, what are they doing now to forward that, to leave a legacy that they want you younger people to follow in? Like life isn't over at 65. There's still much more to explore, to invent, to create, to bring forth. So welcome, Robert, and thank you so much for being my guest today. I so appreciate it. Wonderful. Thank you for asking me. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, who, are, who is Robert Ponte? Like when people hear that, they say, oh, he's here? So why is that? All right, why I'm here is Robert, Robert first made it as an educator, then as a um, training director for Estee Lauder and Estee, and Estee Lauder corporations. And then Robert was invited by Oprah Winfrey for five years in a row to come on once a year. And that was wonderful meeting her. She said to me, Robert, who are you? What do you do? And I said, well, I'm, I'm one of the top leading image consultants in the world. <laughs> she said, what's that? I said, you know, the way you look, the way you speak, and the way you think has to be consistent and congruent. And then you make an impact. So I've been making impacts and helping thousands of people around the world how to make impacts. And they're getting richer having more fun, playing around, enjoying life. Well, now I'm a senior. A I'm senior, like what a is senior. A senior, to me, a senior is a, is a kind of a, a, a wise, mature person that sometimes when they open their mouth, the, the world and people shift their reality and how they participate in life. Well, recently I became 83. And my brother said, you can't stay home. I said, why? He said, because what if you fall? I said, fall, I haven't fallen in 35 years. <laughs> he, said, he said, and I'm going away. I'm moving, I'm moving out of San Francisco six months out of the year to go to my villa in Italy. And I said, well, I'm going to miss you. Why are you going? Well, what happened was he showed me this place. It's sort of, he said, the foods are right. The carpets are pretty. But let me tell you, I didn't know the feeling, the mode, the mood. I didn't realize fully that if you're a senior and you register yourself in a senior citizen home, there better be love, there better be progressive growth of who you have been all your life. There better be people who are who support the kind of life you live, Robert. Your life has been outrageous. It's been transformative. And you've made so many people rich, wealthy, and happy. What are you going to do? So I looked. I said, well, I'll give it a try. What a mistake I made. But well, Robert, let me ask a question right there. You said, you said something about there better be love and appreciation. What, there better what? be love, appreciation, and a feeling of spiritual awakening. And if it's the not. What happens? If it's, if it's not, you die. Okay. Because that, we, we think that all it takes for a senior to live well is to be taken care of if they fall and to have a meal three times a day. That's what, they don't know that's not what life is about. It's not going to have the fall. right people. What? It's not about waiting until you fall. Or no, you fall. no, 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 no. It's about moving forward with the legacy you've been planting on the planet Earth for years and years and years, and what you've made so many people successful in. 
Why is it they feel that older people are an inconvenience? Exactly. So stupid. Young people, middle-aged people who speak with the correct, the right seniors are blessed. Something happens, their life shifts. That's the, the rent you have to pay for living on the planet Earth. Serve people and especially serve the living human treasures who have given so much of themselves and have shared with the world. So I said, it can't be better. I'm here, I don't wanna be here. This is crazy. You look <laughs> around and you say, what's going on? I've been on every, so many TV shows, been around the world. And now here I sit with people who don't wanna do more than eat, sleep and complain. But that's not all of them. It's very that's interesting. Not all of them. Not know, I now reflected back to my mother-in-law. Yes. When my mother-in-law got of age, her children put her in the rest home. And she used to complain to me all the time. What happened to my mail? What happened to my car going in? What happened? I said, I, I don't know. I, you know, I was like, I didn't understand what she was talking about. She was so yes. unhappy. Now I know why. Because she was a vibrant woman. And she put in a position to just sit there all day and wait for her meals to come. No, slow death. You got to fight so, it every minute. Yeah. Well, this is a conversation that I'm so happy that we're making vocal and we're making it public and we're making it on the system, on TV, so that people can begin to realize the damage they're doing to people when they put them in places like this as if what their life made no difference. I mean, would you take your three-year-old son and put him in a place and he can't? play, explore, do the impossible. People are sitting home feeling well in their beautiful little homes. Come to a senior citizen place and feel the kind of fog of uh -huh. dense, dense, yes. density. Yes. The density, the non-participatory nature of people, not just because of COVID. Things are going on. Babies are being born every day in COVID. Exactly. People are having fun. <laughs> And, and you go come into a senior citizen and you think, where's my wheelchair? Where's my crutches? It's a different kind of people. You've got to be in a place or with people who fit your mode of reality. And who are looking for you to bring forth something yes. that doesn't exist right now. Because of your wisdom and your past, you have the ability to know that you can generate anything. And they're, and they're looking for, what are you going to generate now? You yeah, can provide you gonna, with that. You know, I, I think of the place is a decent business, but the manager should be running a firearms factory. There's nothing <laughs> to do. It has nothing to do with co compassion. It has nothing right. to do with communication. It has nothing to do with shaking a hand. It's It's so where they talk about, oh, big dining rooms. No, no more. COVID, COVID can't kill older people. They've been around too long. Exactly. <laughs> it takes, it takes, it's, they've got such guts, such courage, such vitality, such fire. We must keep this fire going for all those mature people who have given up their life so richly and openly. Well, you know, Robert, one of the things that I thought of when you were talking is that the way in which people uh, look at seniors as yes. if whatever they contribute, it is now over. They now have to be put in a uh, in a room and sit in a chair and look at TV. No, no, you wouldn't do that with an eighteen year old kid. But no, I mean, never. You would never do it. the The idea is where there's vitality, there's energy. Where there's energy, there's results. Where there's results, there's positive, wonderful things happening. And there's movement somewhere. There's movement, movement health. <laughs> life becomes a dance again. Yes. So if you, I see most mature people who have parents and relatives, they think it's going to be an inconvenience. Listen, family is family. 
They brought you up when you were shitting and pissing in your pants and you were <laughs> crying and everything else. And now you throw them away in a box. It's so Man, you're too grown for that. You didn't got too big. You're too important. No, 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 no. We're prepared now to really make the contribution, the transformative contribution. Our world needs it. It's so obvious that so much is falling apart. Why? put your wisdom people, why put your talented, daring people? Who's more daring than a mature person? No one, they have nothing to lose. They've won and they're gonna continue making people win. Well, Robert, what I hear you saying is that there is no, I heard this scene, I think years ago, I was working at IBM, going yeah. over this uh, uh, to the cafeteria that was the same. There's no saturation point to education. So no. what I hear you saying is, there's no saturation point to being alive. No, you no, no. Alive. Aliveness goes beyond, beyond, beyond. Yeah, yeah. If you want health, a strong body, mind, heart, and a spirit that cannot stop flying, without the spirit, who are you? A good lunch? <laughs> who, who are you? So, so let's take this a little bit. I want to take people, so when people get through with this show, they can find somewhere in their life that they can start. So from your experience, what what's one place that they can't see the whole picture? It may be too massive for them. They said, oh my God, no, I don't know about this. What would you suggest is a one place in their life that they can look to see where they can bring aliveness to that area? And that area will generate other areas. How, how you bring aliveness is by being authentic. Authentic. And authenticity is? Uh, authenticity is the vitality of God. Authenticity is the expression artistically, creatively, musically, whatever. It doesn't, they, they pretend that it's happening because the people usually running it are not aware and, and informed. Uh -huh. Some of them are. It's sad. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've been here a month. I can't, I can't wait to escape. I will <laughs> leave. I will leave. I mean, I want to go out and, and encounter people. I go out for a two-hour walk. If you stay out more than two hours, you get 14 days imprisonment in your Oh apartment. no. Yeah, confinement. That's not just because of the, the virus. It's just the way it is. Imagine being allowed out in the world with reality for only two hours a day. It's, it's, it's maddening. It's, it's life distilling. It's like gradually taking your blood and watering it down. Do you exactly. become, yeah, it's, exactly. People don't know it because they, they, they don't want to stay home. And, if your mother did that to you at three years old, you would there would be no people on the planet. Well, I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. My mother wasn't that way. She was a very defiant woman. She lived till she was over yeah. 100. And she demanded, you know, she traveled up until she was 90-something, took train trips. So I can appreciate even more so now who she was in, in, at the time. Because I said, well, my mom just won't be stopped. I thought it was an individual thing. But now I see that's a human thing. So what about suggestions for people like me, who's now reached yeah. a point where they're having certain um, health issues that they weren't having before? Well, you get more health issues the more you don't live, the more you're not alive, the more you're not. Bodies that move increase in value, Queen Anne. You either use it or you lose. They say that about talent. If, you, if you're singing and you don't sing, you lose your ability to sing. Now, we've said a lot about the negatives. Let's say, let's talk about people who do not give of themselves to people who are seniors are missing the prize. Oh, let's talk about that. What about that, Robert? I like that. Yeah, the prize is in the, the adult, the mature adult who has explored, adventured, and made the impossible possible. Once you stop that progress, what happens is the deadening effect begins to happen in people and in environments. You, you, you say, oh, well, I can't. I'm newly married. I can't take care of my grandmother. 
what if she threw you out with the wash <laughs> every time she had to change your diaper? They say, I cannot have my, my grandmother or aunt live in my house. What am I going to do if these old people are there with me? <laughs> you look at an old people is not an old person. It's a diamond formed and it sparkles. You ever notice mature people don't give a damn what the hell they say if they're really alive. They say things. I remember my mother. She said things. She said, I never said anything in my life. Now I'm in my 70s, she says, I speak out. I speak up. It's the listening. It's, it's the way the, the advertisements go. It's the way the med medical profession goes. Get your mature adult and start rubbing their feet. Start rubbing their legs. Start rubbing their hands. Let circulation appear in a person who's given so much of themselves. If they made it that far, give them another 25, 30 years of living with you, living with friends, and break your backbone, break your ass to find an environment where they can flourish. Very important, very important. I mean, I have never been so unhappy. I have never been so Fills with As someone who's traveled the world, been all kinds of places, done everything. You live in a hotel, you get new experiences. You live with wonderful friends and companions, you get a live, vibrant experiences. It's a natural. You cannot control a person because they're 60 or 70 for safety or for a meal. That's the way people think who are following. Um, a, a, quiet, a, a stupid voice in their head, <laughs> a voice that is not vibrant. See, now let's, say, let's, let's talk about the voice in the head of the senior. How should they be responding the, now the for themselves right. to when, give themselves a voice? When you're older and you might be a little slower and you might be a little more cautious, you need a team of human beings who talk to you like a treasure. You are, I mean, who has more value to give to the earth than someone who's been around? Not everyone, because most people don't kick the shit out of each man in any way, no matter <laughs> what age they are. But there so are this people. is those people who've been given all their life, who's made a contribution to their community, to their organizations, to their city, to their people, and who now you want to put in a, a rest home or leave alone. You don't, don't leave people alone. Alone is you leave alone rats. You don't leave alone human beings who brought birth and life to you. You don't believe alone people who are have started businesses, who've been creative. Yeah, what you say, Robert, makes me sad um, because if you look around, most people have a thought and they live in that thought of seniors having lived their life, lived like they lived. No. And now what the truth is, they're just beginning to add the huge contribution mm. that they have to bring because they're through working, you know? And, like, and they have the style to live freshly. Yes. is a yes. style that uh, um, emerges in the 60s, 70s, a daringness. Nothing great has ever happened on the planet Earth without the sense of daring. Right. The sense of risk. And risk. And risk. And, and other people, other similar, likewise people. Right. No. So you're saying, just to recap your lives a little bit, for those people listening to the show, while they may sympathize or empathize with what we're saying, the real uh, the real thing here is for them to look at how they're living their life. How they're, if they're not a senior, how are they treating seniors? How, how are, are they, they treating seniors? seniors? And if they are a senior, then what passion have they not yet expressed? And that they can begin to do that. You're, you're careful. You know how to keep yourself alive. You've yeah. done it for eight, 60, 70 years. Why not 20 more? Yeah. The idea yeah. is, can you learn to speak with the sound of a voice, a compassion in the look, 
a touch of your hands, even the fragrance of what you what you are. Oh, people don't smell. What's that phony belief about them? If they're if they're in a a, a home where they're paying a great deal of money, they have to do a lot to be able to pay that money. Exactly. Those they things to do a those lot. places are very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. And if you're conditioned to live that way, well, then you won't go out of the box. You won't. And that's not the way to, to run a, a nation that's supposed to expand, explode, and become more. We need new old blood. Okay, so let's tackle this really big question. The people are listening to this and they say, hmm, maybe, what can I do? Where is the first place as people we should be looking? No matter where on the age, age ruler we are, where should, where would she first look? Well, there's a lot. One of the things I would say, I'm, I'm designing, I've designed a new business called Champion. And a champion works like an angel with a human being and gives them such concentrated focus, caring, hears what they say, repeats what they say, and does all they can to encourage the more mature. You can't look at it like you're looking at it, you're missing the boat. It's like you're, you're walking down the street and there's a great show going on in a building and you don't go in and see the music and the dancing. That's what's happening. The, 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 because of the, the, the legal laws, because of everybody afraid of getting sued, you're cutting your grandma, your grandpa, your mature uncles and aunts out of the game of life. You cannot stop another's onward progression. You don't know what that is. You don't know what that is. You can only see from where you are. That's right. You only yeah. see where you are. And so for you to stand up and say that this is it for someone much older. No, it's not. About. You don't have no idea. You say it so well. You know why? Look at you. A beautiful lady lives a fabulous life and does not have the, the opportunity to really step out and be an original beyond an original. See, there, <laughs> there's life beyond being a senior. Yes. You, you don't become a living human treasure until you become a senior moving beyond that. Well, Robert, I want to take a break right now. We'll be back, and I hope everybody stays tuned because when we come back, we're going to give you even more information, more things that, that will move you forward, not only in the listening of what it means to be a senior, but in the preparation, if you are a senior yourself, what, what is the thing that you can do to bring your life even more alive? So just stay tuned to Peninsula View, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Um, we have an awesome guest, Mr. Robert Ponte. He's talking about his experiences. The whole thing is the best is yet to come. We're talking about how people um, treat seniors and we're talking about that in the sense that what's your legacy? The best is yet to come. We're here to push forward the creativity that we as seniors have the ability and the capability of providing for others. Because if you're lucky, you will be us. For those of us who are fortunate enough to have those years pile up, then you have an obligation to provide something for those coming behind you. And that's what we're doing today. I want people to leave here with something that they can bring forth, that they can do that they can provide, and not only in assisting, being present to their own thoughts about who they think seniors are, but also to pro provide a pathway for them to continue creation. For those who've been creating all their life, let's, let's make that happen. Let's provide a resource for that. Yes, so I, I, I say, if you're not a transfusion to humanity, 
what the hell are you doing on the planet Earth? <laughs> You're, you're so, snapping it up. Talk about that, Mike. I like that. If you're not a transfusion, like to going human to, to human beings, why are you here? You walk around with your phone. This is every, you walk around with the computer. You don't even say hello to most people because you <laughs> you're, you don't you don't have the a capacity or the willingness to love. Without loving anyone, you will die before these seniors that are already in there. Without being loved, without being caressed, without being known that the angel within you has to come alive through caring. Like I said, the angel within you, which means we all have that capacity. All of us are living human treasures. But if you walk the streets, and go near a lot of places, you think it's all this silent, better than that. I know a little more of that computer. I know a little. Hold the hand of a truly caring human being. Touch their head. Let them know your loving thoughts are feeding them every moment. And if you can be of any help to them, step forward. You're reserving a great place for yourself, especially when you leave the planet. You don't walk into the heavens of life without earning it. Without earning it. I have people call me from all over the world saying, Robert, what are you doing in a place like that? You're on stage in China, you're on stage in Malaysia, you're on stage in New York. 10,000 people, you've earned the right. You went from being having 63 cents to become an independent millionaire. You went from being from a lower class neighborhood or low middle class, and now you've been in the greatest places to serve humanity. If you don't make of a human being happy, laughing and comfortable and fearless, what are you doing? Pushing a button? Forgetting your phone and thinking life is not going to work. Keep waiting for the clicks. No. Every time you see a young person, say hello. Every time you see a middle-aged person, smile. Invite them to say hello. And when you see a mature person, get into their groove. They know stuff you cannot even imagine, especially the world you're living in right now. They've been around in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. What do you think when they open their mouths and show you their, their caring and their consideration? They're giving you gifts you can't get any place. They're giving you the treasures of human interaction. Take every human interaction you can. Put it in your life. Swallow it. Make it real. Give vitality to another human being. You will have vitality for the rest of your life. There's no better lesson in any book. No better show on the earth than mature people sharing openly. They're not afraid. They don't hold back. And in every book, everybody that speaks that has brought something of value to the planet and they tell you what it was, it was in the risk, is in the unknown, they found joy. Yes. It was in the unknown, they found happiness. It wasn't in being safe. So Robert, you're the, you know, like, I think God has always uh, guided this show. It's been on for like- I know it years. is, I know it is. And it's always he, a per person. We had a group prayer call in. Just pray, we said, let's get together and pray. So we give, bring our wisdom, our fun, our youth, our, our humor to the world. So my friends get on the phone, three or four at one time, and we give each other prayer and energy. Well, you better get the round person who is healthy, vital, alive, and can't get rid of their smile. There's something in them that is bright, and they want to know you and they want you to win. And they can tell you things where you've been holding back, create aliveness among the old, 
give love, care. You care more for animals than you do for seniors. That is disgusting. You care more for dogs and cats. Oh, look at this, and you rub that. When's the last time you rubbed a senior's arms or patted their head or took them someplace or grabbed them by the arm and go explore something? Listen, if you're not touching a person's heart, you're touching dead leaves. Be very careful. Wow. Well, so uh, Robert, you're just leaving me with all these kind of like, yes, 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 this thought, this thought. It, it, like it, you should be writing all this stuff down. It can go on an album or a novel or something. I'm going to be giving these talks. are things that are like pearls that we can all use to live by. It's it's like saying having a prejudice against a a religious group or a a, a group of color or a group from a foreign country. What? Who are you going to answer to when you when you leave the planet? You hated everybody. You were afraid of everybody. <laughs> you despise everybody. Get your act together. Exactly. And so I don't know of any more appropriate closing for this segment of what's your legacy? What are you building? The best is yet to come. That's the best how, is yet to come. The best is yet to come. So you provided that for us. And for thousands of unknown people that we won't even hear from, really thank you for being on the show. What you, you're, what you're providing is a priceless, it's priceless. And the next time we'll do another, another level of this whole thinking. And I want people who are watching the show, if they see something that they would like to see more of, questions they would like to ask, write in and share because not only you will want the answer to that. And let's have some young people and middle-aged people with us on the show. Yes, I will. And, and answer their questions, their quandaries. Let's do that. We must become a nation of unity, mixture. With mixture comes things that are forbidden fruit. That's so wonderful. <laughs> so wonderful. We'll, we'll, we'll close on that, Robert. And I thank you again. And thank you, Victor. Thank you, Nick. Those are our people that know so much more than us technically on how to put this whole thing together. And thank God they, they came forth and supported us. So I appreciate it. And, uh, and until the next time, I don't know when the next show will be, but I'm hoping that it'll be soon with different guests. And then we'll have you back again, Robert. And some, we'll have like a panel discussion. We'll have more than one person on. We ask you for your conscious, positive, thoughts and prayers concerning every human being. And don't leave out those who wiped your ass when you were a kid. Thank because you. they're here to make your life wonderful. Yeah, thank you. So Peninsula View saying goodbye and thank you very much for watching. And we look forward to your viewing us next time. And for you to think about the best is yet to come. So what are you gonna bring forth? What's the legacy you're building? Goodbye.